Hello and welcome or welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be discussing the one and only man baby of all the specters garden, Knut Fuda. Just as a warning so I don't get hate for this, I am doing this having full knowledge of what it is capable of. I have backed up all my saves and I will most likely reinstall my game and make them a files read only. Now what I mean to say is do not under any circumstances resurrect Knut. It is extremely dangerous. I am making this video so you do not have to resurrect him. If you're a Sims 2 corruption nerd like me, you most likely have heard the name Knut Fuda. If you haven't, however, Knut Fuda is a dead delivery sim who is meant to be buried in Olive Spectre's garden. He was not released with the game, however, and we can only assume this is because of the state of his character data, or should I say, lack thereof. Anyways, I suggest you check out Tannic Sims 2 Corruption Chronicles. This video series covers corruption in The Sims 2. If you're unfamiliar with corruption in The Sims 2, it can be split into two categories, hood corruption and game corruption. Hood corruption is the less severe of the pair, keeping the damage to a single neighborhood. This doesn't mean it can't harm your game, though. Hood corruption can best be defined by Scrabble Goddess on The Sims forums, quote, Neighborhood corruption usually happens when a sim or lot that is unique to a specific neighborhood, usually playable or a townie, has sim data that isn't properly assigned or contained, end quote. Game corruption is when your DOP package files have been altered or removed from the game. This is caused by tampering with universal NPCs, adding them to your family, having family relationships with them, knowing them, etc. It can and will make your game unplayable, but is completely preventable. If you're interested in these things, I once again suggest that you watch Tani's video on them. I'll also link the Sims Wiki page on corruption in the description below. The series will be split into two parts, one part viewing and playing Canute and Sim P, and the other playing him as normal. You'll understand what I mean by this later. Now let's talk about Canute. As aforementioned, he is a dead delivery sim buried in Olive's garden. While spinning in a graveyard with sims like Lila Grunt, Melissa Sims, and Vicky Sims, he manages to be the most bork sim in her cemetery. Canute has little to no data. Let's take a closer look in Sim P. For this experiment, I will not be using a clean template. The first thing that I notice when opening his file is that he has a blue portrait background. In Sim P, the color of a portrait background of a sim can tell you if that sim is an NPC, if that sim's character data is unlinked, or if that sim has no character data. Canute has blue, which means that his character data is unlinked. He is in the unknown life section and has zero days left. He has no education info, no career info, and his aspiration is nothing. Is this a removed fee- No, I'm totally kidding. He has no relationships, no interests, no personality, and no skills. He has no flags and his unlinked value is 0x0001. His character file is where all of his data is stored. He has some files here, majority of which I don't know about. The ones I can recognize though are his clothing files, his portrait, and his age data. His wants and fears open without issue. The same can be said about his clothing data, badges, and family. I left out his memories for the fact that he is missing memories other pre-made ancestral sims have, such as an initialization token, an aspiration token, or the famous I am dead token. We'll need to open Strange Town to play with Kinyut since he can't exist in two neighborhoods at the same time. Obviously, because it's the first time loading the hood, it'll take a minute. To set the tone, as we go into the flyby, I'll read the hood description. True seekers move to Strange Town hoping to discover the secrets of town holds. Do aliens live among us? Do missing sims mysteriously appear here? In this town, nothing is what it seems. I thought we could add Canute to the Spectre household because, well, it's where his life ended. Nothing is out of the ordinary here. I'm just going to load the lot and attempt to use a resurrected Nomatron. Doesn't work. This is a good thing, as he cannot ruin your game any further than it already is ruined. Nothing changed in Kinyut's file. We'll now make him playable by assigning him an age and relinking his character file by changing his unlinked value in the other tab from 0x0001 to 0x0000. I forgot to record this, but in previous trials, I found that even linking his character file and sending his age didn't make him resurrectable. To make him playable, we first need to turn bullprop on. Here's me being absolutely amazing at spelling. We'll spawn the tombstone of life and death and use the add neighbor to family option. It takes some clicking, but we finally get to Kinyu. Just kind of falls on the floor. Here he is, man of the hour. Man baby of Olive's garden, Knut Fuda. 
Every time someone tries to interact with him, it makes an error if you have bullcrap on. This is because of his missing animations. If you press cancel a couple of times, he will magically levitate into Olive's arms. That's about all he can do. Now for his in-game data. He has normal needs and is recognized completely as a baby. He knows Ophelia and Olive, and that's it. He has max skills, no badges, and a slightly visible family friends bar. His personality is random and he has no genetic personality. He's thin, but fit, but thin, but fit. He has random interests to go along with his personality and no enthusiasm, memories, or turn-ons and turn-offs. Despite the whole, his broken animations, and the whole, he looks like a man, he's mostly a normal baby. And now, we'll check on him in SimP. Nothing changed on his overview. He now has schooling data, but still no aspiration. This isn't unusual for babies. He still only has relationships with Olive and Ophelia. He has interests as well and a personality, but no genetic personality. This is because his interests and personality were randomized at the beginning of the game. And, well, it seems that his skills aren't actually all maxed. Sorry to disappoint. His flags are the same and his expansion data is now readable. There's nothing in there though. His wants and fears are the exact same. His memories are slightly different in that he has an initialization token. Now, for the moment of truth, does he have DNA? The answer is yes. It appears that his data is normal and consistent with that of a cast sim. His sim score status is the same, along with his clothing. It's toddler time! Instead of showing you how to change the age, I'm just showing you a screenshot of all you need to do. Yep, it's that easy. It seems that Knut has acquired an aspiration, which is just the grow up aspiration. He's at the level of Miracle Might, which is the Platinum Toddler Grow Up Aspiration level. He doesn't appear in the family loading screen, and he's just sitting at the front gate when we load him in. Nothing here is really out of place except for his adult male body morph. Despite having an aspiration and being a toddler, he has no wants or fears, and his skill bar is no longer glitched. He doesn't have max skills anymore. Aside from that, everything we see is exactly the same. He can do the huggle interaction with toddlers, which is cute, I think. He can be in a high chair, have his clothes changed at a changing table, be placed in a crib, play with toys, and be bathed. He can also be taught toddler skills. He also got stuck in the oven, which is <laughs> really funny to me for some reason. When we view Kanu and Simpi after we have played him as a toddler, we can see not much has changed. He now has traits marked for chemistry and his sim score is viewable. When we load the specters after changing Canute's data once again, he's a grade school student. He functions normally as a child, but his body is disfigured. He can bake with a toy oven and play on playground equipment. He can also do the spin in the air interaction with Ophelia, which is an interaction that is only open to children. Looking at Canute from the hood view, we see that he still has the grope aspiration, but he's at the level hottie. This is not a grow up aspiration level, rather a teen romance level. He's on a loading screen this time, and he just goes to school like normal. Opening his file did not yield any interesting results. This next part, in my opinion, is the most interesting part of the video. I aged him into an adult through SimP and attempted to have children with both himself and another Sim. If you want to watch more videos on breeding Sims with bad character data, there's an abundance of videos on both Calipers and Tongs channel and Tanny's channel, which I will link in the description. Okay, so for this part of the video, I figured that I would just turn my microphone on so you guys could just kind of see my thought process while I am going through this. I haven't turned my microphone on when recording the previous bits, but I'm going to now. So it appears that when we aged up Kanu into an adult, he still kept his grow up aspiration, but guessing and assuming by his previous aspiration level of haughty and his now current aspiration level of lusty lover he has the romance aspiration but it's not recognized properly by the game this could just be the default aspiration that the game resorts to i know that um in tanic sims 2's video on veronaville one of the sims the dead ancestral sims i think it might have been a cap ancestral sim when he was loaded in um he had the unused power aspiration However, he had the aspiration level of Dirty Old Woman, which I believe is the aspiration level of an elder romance sim who is a female. So obviously, we're just going to go ahead and have Canute move out. 
um, find own place. We'll try to keep Ophelia off. Oh, I'll try to keep Ophelia off of the computer because last time we did this, she did decide that she wanted to play SX SSX3. So, one thing that I think is still important to mention is that Kinyu is now wearing his outfit. Okay, Olive. Um, she, he is wearing his delivery person outfit that he have, he has worn in all of his life stages. So not much is really changing, I guess. Can take a look at everything else. Um, his needs are all fine. He has the same relationships. He has still the weird careers. He has the personality, the interest, the enthusiasm, and now the memory of moving out, which is the only memory that he has, and his turn-ons and turn-offs are the same from when he was aged into a teenager. I'm gonna speed up this process. I don't know who this is. It's just kind of a random, <laughs> random townie on the lot. Okay, so now that King Yoot has left, we're gonna go ahead and take a look at him in the neighborhood. Okay, so we're gonna move King Yoot into this lot. Okay, so now that he's moved in, the next thing that I'm going to do is I am just going to add this sim manipulator real quick. And I think I still have bullcrap on. Yes, I do. Okay. Spawn, tombstone with life and death. Move it out here. A neighbor to family. Let's just, uh, somebody who we know that is a townie. Just add Margaret Turner. She's a teen, isn't she? Yes. Okay. I just don't want anything to be conflicted, you know. Can we age transition, please? Yep, there we go. Okay. Now we're going to get pregnant with... Can you... We heard the chimes. Now we're just gonna go to some manipulator, change stage to the give birth stage. It'll just have her change clothing. So this is basically just testing for Canute's offspring and seeing about his DNA, if it stays the same. Can you please stop jumping rope? <laughs> Yep, just a normal birth. Oh, <laughs> no! <sighs> it's kind of funny with Knut because he's not showing any emotion. <laughs> he's just making the facial expressions. Okay, baby number one. Has the mother's skin... And Kinyut's eyes. I think so. Yeah. Okay, give the baby to Kinyut. Baby. It's a baby. <laughs> I copying over uh, Tani's videos. Anyway, so it appears. Uh oh. I am not good at names. I know. Pen and pencil. Those are the first things that I saw on my desk, so that's just what we're gonna do. Um, now that um, we've had a uh, pen and pencil, we're gonna go ahead and make, um, gonna get him pregnant with himself. I don't think that worked though because he has actions in his queue, which is not something that we need I don't hear the chimes so I can't tell I wonder if pregnancy just doesn't work on him it's strange um we'll try it with the sim manipulator then okay uh, check no family no health 
No. Takes him. What? No, okay, put put the baby down, please, sir. He's properly assigned, oh, he, oh, it might be his aspiration? Since he still kind of has traces of being a child. Um, gonna change him to romance him. Oh, yeah, <laughs> he hasn't had his very first kiss. Uh, no, okay. No, I don't want a new baby. Please, sir, please, please come here. No chimes. Uh, this is peculiar. Maybe we have to have no actions in our queue. No, it's the same thing. Okay. Cheer up. Uh, I don't know what that does. Okay. This is weird. This is very weird. Um... I'm guessing he just like can't have kids. I know it's not because he's an elder because I mean he's not an elder, so <laughs> Can we try somebody else? Margaret. No. That really is strange. I'm unsure as to why that is happening. I don't understand why that's happening. Does it work with her? I did not want to do that. Okay, well, I guess she's pregnant with Vidkun's baby now. I'm not changing that, but I am unsure why can you can't pe get pregnant with himself. So I'm just gonna chalk that up to um, his character file just being completely destroyed. So, that moves us on to our next stage, which is going to see what he, what happens to him when he dies. Because that's something I want to know about. Vidkund. Oopsies, I wasn't supposed to do that. <laughs> Oops. Finally, it's time to lay Canute to rest, but not for long. Nothing changed, and we're going to kill him off now. Canute's death was completely normal. Ophelia and Olive were obviously not happy to see their new friend go. Since he was in gold aspiration level, he got the more luxurious death. He can finally rest in Olive's garden. I tried to see if he would haunt the specter a lot, but to no luck. Other sims did, though. His resurrection was completely normal and routine, and we paid full amount so he would definitely come back as a sim. He decided to muscle with his newfound life. Overall, I think that studying the mysterious ways of Kenyu Fudo helps bring us closure to his death. The main thing that we learned is that he's not a complete lost cause. Does this mean that you should resurrect him? Absolutely not. Just because he generates data in the game, that doesn't mean that there aren't things that occur within the game's files. He generates DNA, interests, skills, and a personality. We're not sure if this is his intended data or random data. Anyway, thank you so much for watching. I'll link the tools I used in this video below. Please let me know what you'd like to see more of in the future. Bye!